Why is a process plant built? The first important step which is decided in building a plant is why is a process plant being built? A process plant is being built to manufacture a product. This could be a chemical or some other chemical which is going to be used for making some other product. So, with regards to process plant, the product can be manufactured by way of a chemical reaction or a way of physical reaction. When it comes to a chemical reaction, we can consider the reaction of making ammonia by Haber-Bosch process. After it is decided what a process plant is going to manufacture, we can go backwards and plan for all the other stuff which will be required. So, we must decide which raw material are required to make ammonia as an example. As per the chemical reaction, we need nitrogen and hydrogen. We need a place to store nitrogen and hydrogen. As nitrogen is readily available from the atmosphere, it can be taken directly from it and oxygen can be separated from the atmospheric air. With regards to hydrogen, we will have to store it as it is not readily available or manufacturing it in-house. To do that, we need to set up another plant to manufacture hydrogen. But for the present plant, we will consider that hydrogen is being transported to the process plant. The next step is feasibility study. To understand whether the site is suitable to manufacture the product, we need to determine whether the site is feasible. To do this, we need to do a feasibility study. The feasibility study tries to answer the following questions. Does the site have enough space? Does the site have water? Is the site close to transportation or do roads need to be built too? Are the raw materials available or whether they need to be transported or manufactured separately before they can be fed into our process? These are the high level questions which need to be answered before we proceed further into plant design. Answering these questions doesn't necessarily complete the feasibility study but leads us to another crucial part of the process and that is site survey. So the next step is site survey. Site survey is mostly done by the civil discipline. In site survey, a team of surveyors survey the site and physically check all the questions which were asked before. The surveyors physically go and observe where of the site and also take soil samples. Then they check the water availability for the site, whether the water can be brought in by nearby river or it has to be requested for them from the government. Then they check whether the site requires new roads to be built or the material can be transported off-site through pipelines. To aid them in this task, they take a Google Earth view or a drone view of the site. Getting all this data and doing the site survey helps in preparing the next step which is the equipment list. The step which is done after the site survey is to determine the equipment list. To determine what all equipment will be required, we need to answer the following questions. What all raw material is required? Depending on the reaction, we need to find out which equipment will be required. For our example of ammonia manufacturing, we will require by default a reactor. Then we have to consider how will the raw material be stored. For our example of ammonia manufacture, we will require the hydrogen tank. Then we will require the air compressor plant. In addition to this, we will require pumps and motors. We need to answer the question, 
what all utilities will be required and air are the major utilities which will be required water will be required mainly for reaction and washing electricity is required to drive electrical equipment and the control system and air is required to drive the pneumatic equipment pneumatic equipment include control valves on off valves which operate on air the next step that we should consider is to make a process flow diagram with all these data that we have available right now after deciding on the equipment list we are going to prepare the process flow diagram what does the process flow diagram show a process flow diagram shows what happens in a process plant from beginning till the finished product it shows the raw material coming into the reactor where the reaction takes place the product after the reaction is pumped to storage or is pumped off site to be sold the next step which we need to consider after preparing the process flow diagram is making the piping and instrument diagram as the name suggests a piping and instrument diagram shows the piping and instrument being used in a process plant it is organized equipment wise and finally after doing all these we can prepare the final plot plan the final plot plan is a plan in which all the equipment is superimposed on the site survey and plot plan is prepared these are the ways in which the process plant is being built or these are the starting steps to build a chemical plant